Hi, my name is Isaac Emerald, and today I'm going to be talking about setting up your game menu. So, you might have seen my Flybird game, and maybe thought, wow, there are a lot of different pages and different buttons in here, and it must have taken them a long time to make all of these different pages and stuff. Well, I'm going to um, teach you a very simple and easy way to make um, scene switching and buttons. Okay, so if you've already made a game menu, you're probably familiar with this type of um, switching. I made it where if scene equals 1, show red background. If scene equals 2, show green background. And if scene equals 3, show blue background. Well, first off, let's get rid of this. I'm going to teach you how to use a switch statement. So you start off by saying switch bracket bracket. There you go. And then in between these two brackets, we want to say what we're switching. So I'm going to put scene, which is what I'm switching over here. Set this back to 1. I'm going to say case 1. Then I'm going to put a break over here. Okay, what I mean by case 1, what this means is if it is equal to 1, show whatever is between this case and break. This just means the end of the if statement, basically. So if I put a background in here, make it equal red, and then I'm going to say case 2, break, show a background that's green, and I'm going to say case 3, oops, 3, show a background that is blue. Now let's test this out. Green, blue, perfect. And we can even put chars or characters um, in here with enough and you don't even have to put a number in here. So, like, because, like, if you are doing this, it's going to be really hard to memorize all the different numbers you have to go to. So, I'm going to put a thing that says home. And I'm going to say if scene equals home. And then I'm going to put this as a, oops, how to page and this as um, a settings page. Okay, now let's test this out. If I make this how green and settings perfect. So this is just the idea of a switch statement and now I'm going to get on to the buttons. Okay, so I have a rectangle here and I want to make it where if my mouse is inside this rectangle fill this rectangle a different color. Now, you probably already know how to do this, but I'm going to explain the math behind it so you can understand in the future why I was able to make it resizable and movable. And you, where you can make it, where you can make more buttons and stuff like that. Okay. So, I'm going to start out with an if statement. I'm going to say if mouse y is, or I'm going to actually start out with mouse x, mouse x is greater than this right here, 200, because the rec parameter for x is set at 200, so I'm going to say 200. And what this is just saying is if mouse is greater than this, this right here. So this is the line we're dealing with. And we want to make we want to make it where if it's greater than that. So if it's greater than there, and then we also want to say, and this just makes and that just means and mouse x is less than 200 plus however long the width is, which is right here 50. So we're going to say plus 50. What this just means is so mouse x is greater than 200. So it's going this way. And we're saying we don't want it to go forever that way. So let me just show you what would happen if we just had mouse x 
is greater than greater than two hundred. I'm gonna fill it different color, maybe blue. Okay. Now we have it where however much we go this way, it's gonna be blue. Because all we said was mouse if mouse x is greater than two hundred. So we know that if it's greater than the position of the rectangle, not the size of the pos the position, it's gonna be blue. So we want to add a border where if it's also less than this line right here, which is two hundred uh, which is less than 200 plus the width. So that's why we have that there. And now let's test this out. There you go. And now we need to work on the Y because we can also go up and down all we want and it's always going to be blue. So I'm going to make and if or a new if statement in here. If mouse Y is greater than 180. So we know that now, if we're below the position, which is 180 in the rectangle as well, it's going to be blue. But we also want to set a border, border for the bottom, because if we're below the bottom, it's still going to be blue. So same thing with mouse X. Say mouse Y is less than 180 plus with, uh, the height, which is 60. Let's see what happens. There we go. It's working. And now we don't have to put two if statements in here. I just wanted to separate it so you can get a little more of an understanding and not be confused. We can even put another and in this if statement. And put it all in one if statement. And see what happens. It's working. And it's all in one if statement right here. Okay, now I'm going to get to the um, resizable and movable buttons. All right, now it's time to get to the sizable and movable buttons. So I'm going to start off by making a function called button. Then I'm going to add x, y, w, h, x, um, X position, Y position, width, and height. That's what it stands for. Okay, I'm going to start off by just making it a simple rectangle. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to make the button right here. I'm going to just put 200, 200, 50, 50. Oh. Move this off to the side. And okay, so now I need to make it where if my mouse is in here, this rectangle, it will fill this rectangle a different color by using the same mathematics I used to do this. So I want to go if mouse x is greater than x, which is the x position of the button, and mouse x is less than x plus width, like we learned in here. This is the x, and then we want it to be less than x plus the width, which will go this way, not that way. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with y. Mouse y is greater than y, and mouse y is less than y plus height. I'm going to fill it a different color like blue. It's working. And now I'm going to make several more buttons. See that? And then make more buttons. See that? And I don't need this anymore. Alright, now since you know the idea of the button, I'm going to get on to actually making the menu. Alright, now let's get to the menu. So I'm going to start off with making a, um, making a variable called page. I'm going to name this page home. Alright, now I'm going to make a switch statement.
page. I'm going to make it where if or case, oops, it's home, show the buttons, and if not, break it. Okay, tap this out. All right, now I'm going to take this away, make it where if I click on this button, make it make the page switch. So if I'm over this button and I click on it, you could switch. So I'm going to add another value in here. I can put as many values as I want in here. I'm going to call it page switch. And then I'm going to make it where if my mouse is um, in the rectangle, not only fill it blue, but also if I press while it's over, mouse is pressed, make page equal page switch. And now I can put a value in here that says if it's clicked, make page equal page switch, and I'm gonna I can set page switch to go to another page. So I'm gonna call it settings. And then make it where if I have another um, page it's called settings make another button that makes it go back to home bring this down okay now if I click on here see okay now let's add some style so I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna go over here And I'm going to add some style. So I'm going to put right here TXT. I'm going to fill. I'm going to fill text that has the TXT message X Y. Then I'm going to put over here settings. I have a little text there. I'm going to put something that makes your pages look better. It's called text align. This is not a thing required to know, but it is helpful. Okay, and then I'm going to make it where, since it's center, I want to make it center with the button, which is going to be plus width divided by 2 and plus h divided by 2. Now it's in the center of the button. I can give it another one called txt size and make the text size txt size and then add the text size over here it's so like 30 or something there you go so now if I go to settings I can even make another button right here right over here it says back and the text size over here, which is about 10. Okay, I'm going to go back, settings, back, and I can make even more pages. Like this one can be called um, help, like when you need a help button and information about the game and call this one help which is the page it's going to go to and I'm going to call it the button help and make the text bigger and move it off to the side and then click on it and it can it brings me to a button that I just set right here and I can even change the back button over here if I really wanted to so settings back help back and so that's just the idea of setting up a game menu and i hope you enjoyed and yeah